Hi. It's the 13th of July 2017. I've just popped over to the allotment and everything's changing so quickly. A couple of days ago we had some good heavy rain which was really nice because every time I go there I seem to spend all my time watering. But now I can focus on the weeding. We weeded the onions and today I picked peas. But the odd thing is you know my stand of snow peas that got blown by the wind and was kind of almost collapsing but we propped it up? Well, all of a sudden it started to go really brown and you can smell the sort of smell of decaying greenery on it. It's really strange. So I stopped to pick as many of the snow peas as I could because most of, the, most of these that I've picked are really quite dry already. Some are a little bit moist still, but I'm going to put them in the conservatory and let them dry out completely because I don't want to leave them on the bushes and have them go mouldy if we have a bit more rain sometime. But the odd thing is that one of the pea plants, or maybe several, they're all so close together it's a bit hard to tell, has peas that are obviously of a different kind. So I picked as many as I could. It's a climbing plant and it's had lots of peas and they're a sort of normal pea size. There, you can see that compared with the, oops, compared with the snow pea. It's a lot bigger. These are very small peas. And these are normal size. But some of them are in giant pods. The peas are the normal size for eating, but it's just that the pod has this extra flange, as though it was expecting the peas to be giant sized, and they're not. Oh, also I picked some beetroot. That's why my hand's red. So you can see here, perfectly normal peas, giant pod, and there are lots of them. But on the same plant, there are normal pods like that. So I have a question. Has anyone else come across this strange phenomenon of the giant pea pod? Or is it only me? In fact, Chris's climbing peas also seem to be dying. I think they're getting mildew. The new allotment's turning into a bit of a jungle, I must say. This is a climbing pea I planted rather belatedly to grow up my corn stalk, which still has a way to go, but it's ahead of the bean. Beyond the corn over here, these beans, my sister Helen sent them all the way from Holland. They're called Veringer beans. The packet didn't say they were climbing beans or bush beans, so I assumed they would be bush beans. But guess what? They're putting up little tendrils. So Chris has put some little sticks in for them to hang on to. I must say the internet says they're bush beans as well, so I don't know what this is all about. The tomatoes, I let them get away. I came in here yesterday and cut out quite a lot of leaves and stems, but it's still a bit of a jungle. Lots of tomatoes, as long as they don't get blight. Some more beans that my sister Helen sent. I planted a row in front of the tomatoes here. They're interesting. They've got different shaped leaves to the normal beans and they've got fuzzy stalks. She got them from a gourmet grocery store. They come all the way from Japan, from the slopes of Mount Hokkaido, apparently. And she got them because they were black beans, but she's not gonna buy them again because they were too expensive, but she saved a few to send to me. So we'll see what they produce. They haven't actually flowered yet, but they've got time. And beyond them, well, we've got the brassica row, still partially covered. Behind the brassicas, that's four butternut squash plants. They've just ramped over the whole place. They've gone over the brassica tunnel. They've come all the way up here around the bean, in fact, through the bean, and they're assaulting the tomato. And they've got so many butternut squashes. I'm completely astonished. 
This tomato has found its way into the middle of the bean pyramid from over there. <laughs> and this is whatever cereal the straw came from. Oh, look, what's that? Oh, it's a butternut squash. So my climbing piece here are not dying off like the other ones. They've got little pink flowers, rather similar to the other one. Oh, look, the baby corn has got a cob. So it's all looking quite exciting, but I'll leave it there. And next time I'll tell you about my hazel trees that I'm going to plant. Bye.